uh, I'll open it with our, our normal prayer. E aku rangatira, tēnā koutou katoa. We acknowledge that there is a strength beyond ourselves when we work together to serve others. May we put aside our own personal interests, work with integrity and openness, striving to create a community that supports its people and the environment. Let us, in a moment of quiet, focus on why we are here. We give thanks for the wisdom of the past, look for opportunities in the present, and accept the challenges of the future. Tēnei te mihi, kia koutou katoa, kia pai te hare. Welcome everybody. And I uh, will just advise that of course we are, are being live streamed and uh, I welcome members of the community who are joining us on our council meeting today. Do we have any apologies? No, very good. Any conflicts of interest? No. And we do not have any, anything in our public forum. So uh, announcements from myself. I would just like to take an opportunity as we are four weeks uh, of lockdown to say a huge thank you to our community who has followed the rules, followed the guidelines and uh, stayed at home. And it's been an amazing achievement, both locally as our community and nationwide, that we have uh, achieved such an incredible result with um, confirmed cases in recent days all being in single figures. So now as we prepare to move uh, to level three, I encourage you all first to continue to uh, obey the rules over the upcoming long weekend. Uh, let's not uh, let ourselves down now. But I also urge you to start thinking about what level three means uh, for yourself as an individual, what it means for your household, and uh, if you're a business owner, what it means for your business. Uh, and you'll see the screen behind me, I've chosen the message maker plan. As a council, we are working on our plan and we've also pulled together a whole set of resources which are on our website and are available to you to access to see uh, all the different support that's available for you, um, both from ourselves uh, and from other central government agencies and other organisations. So uh, as we move towards uh, next Tuesday, uh, please look at what's available and we're available to help you as well. So don't hesitate to call our customer services number if there's anything specifically you would like to uh, discuss with us. I'd also like to take the opportunity today to say uh, a huge thank you to our council staff who have been working incredibly hard over the last four weeks and actually prior to that as well in, in the lead up to preparing for lockdown. So our staff have not only been having to continue with business as usual in a, in a very challenging environment, but we've had a number of staff that have been deployed into welfare roles. Uh, so that includes making phone calls to our more elderly residents to check in on, check in on them. Uh, and some of our councillors have also been supporting uh, that particular function. And we've also had a number of staff who have been seconded to support the civil defence team and actually help them in terms of the many, many functions, um, the logistics, the operations, the communications, all the planning that goes into uh, a state of emergency situation. Uh, we've also had staff who have been working on completely revising our annual plan because obviously the impact of COVID-19 has meant that the annual plan they'd already prepared is no longer uh, particularly relevant. So uh, just wanting to acknowledge all, all of those staff that, that have definitely been uh, working and going above and beyond over the last four weeks. Uh, the last thing I do want to mention uh, today is, of course, we do have Anzac Day uh, coming up this Saturday. And it's going to be an Anzac Day unlike um, what any of us will have experienced before. 
Now, uh, I have just uh, actually earlier this morning been in a Zoom meeting with our local RSAs who are organising a, a live stream, which will be going uh, out on YouTube. And that will be from 6am on Saturday morning. And our three local RSAs will be involved, uh, and myself and Hastings uh, Mayor Sandra Hazelhurst will also be uh, be a part of that Zoom meeting. So I'll put the link to that on my Facebook page and we'll put it on the council Facebook page. So I do encourage um, community members who would like to uh, participate in that uh, to, to join us on Saturday morning. Now that is uh, the three things I wanted to touch on in my announcements. I would also just like to call for uh, any minor matters, please. Councillor Crown. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, and one of uh, my minor matter relates to um, the confirmation of minutes from the Napier People and Places Committee, uh, the meeting on February 27th. Um, in light of the situation that we find ourselves in with COVID and um, especially the welfare response, um, I'm reminded of some information that has been shared with us around how important welfare and monitoring the social well-being of our community is um, post a crisis such as this. There are some fantastic case studies out of Christchurch and examples of how to do things and how not to do things. And um, relating to that, I was wondering um, whether the Napier Social Monitoring Report, um, whether there is room for this to be generated um, more frequently so that we're able to gather that data around the social wellbeing of our community um, rather than just annually. So this question, I suppose, is best um, suited for uh, Antoinette. Thank you, Councillor Crown, and we will we'll discuss that further when we move into minor matters at the end of the agenda. Uh, do we have any uh, announcements by management? No, very good. Okay, moving on to confirmation of the minutes. We do have a number of uh, minutes to confirm, and I will move them as one block. Uh, so we have the minutes of the extraordinary meeting held on the 6th of March, the minutes of the extraordinary meeting held on the 10th of March, the minutes of the ordinary meeting held on the 12th of March, minutes of the extraordinary meeting held on the 24th of March, and lastly, the minutes of the extraordinary meeting held on the 9th of April. Do I have a mover for that, please? Thank you, Councillor Price. Seconded. Thank you, Councillor Crystal. All those in favour, please raise your hand. Thank you. Against. Carried. And our agenda item is straight to actions from previous meetings. Uh, Is there anyone that is wanting a follow-up on anything specifically within uh, within these actions? I'll, I will run through them um, just briefly. So we did have an action around Sean Bevan uh, coming to talk to council about um, ward stats, uh, ward statistics early in 2020, and that we have a status that will be arranged to align with the long-term plan and district plan work program. And of course, this will now also be, uh, we'll have to take into account any impact of COVID-19 with any of these planning documents. The second uh, action item was with regards to stormwater contamination and additional information. And again, this is underway and we will be updated on that in due course. And the next action item has been completed with regards to refurbishment of the civic building. I, I won't actually go through all of these individually. I'm, I'm 
just interested in knowing if anyone has any of these that they would specifically like an update on as part of today's meeting. No. Uh, yes, Councillor Bogue. Um, just regarding the civic building, it's not exactly um, what's there on the list, but I got a call from a constituent this morning, and I think it reflects a misunderstanding that's out there in the community, um, saying that she and her husband were very concerned that council was going to be building a hotel on the site of the civic building, which, of course, is not the case at all. I was able to reassure her of that. But it is an issue. I think people have sort of got the wrong idea um, that we are. Yes, we are looking at somebody else building a hotel there. do is demolish the building um, and hopefully somebody will purchase it. So I just wanted to put that on the record that we are just to remind the community that we are not intending to build a hotel ourselves there with ratepayers' money. Thank you, Councillor Vogue. And it may be that we do need to put um, some additional communications out about that to allay any people that do have concerns. If there's no further questions, uh, do you? Ah, uh, yes, Councillor Brown. Um, just a point. I think the on page six, the prosperous Napier um, item number four. I believe that one's been completed. Okay, well, we'll take a note of that. Thank you. Do I have someone to uh, move the actions list, please? Thank you, Councillor Brown, seconded by Councillor Crown. All those in favour, please raise your hand. Against? Carried, thank you. We'll now move on to our, our reports and recommendations from the standing committees. Uh, the only committee uh, that we do have reports from uh, in today's meeting is the Audit and Risk Committee, which was held on the 20th of March. Uh, and there was a number of reports discussed at that meeting. So I'll just read through the list one by one. It was the Audit and Risk Charter Review, Health and Safety Report, Insurance Arrangements, Sensitive Expenditure Mayor and Chief Executive, Internal Audit Fraud Gap Analysis, Internal Audit Payroll Policy and Procedures, External Accountability Investment and Debt Report. External Accountability Annual Plan 2020-21 Underlying Documents. And I would just note that uh, these particular underlying documents uh, are no longer uh, relevant because obviously we are in the process of doing a The next report was external accountability, long-term plan process update. And then finally, the COVID-19 coronavirus and business continuity planning. Did anyone have any questions with regards to any of these reports before uh, we move um, that they be accepted? No, I'll ask for someone uh, to move that this item oh, please. Thank you Councillor Simpson and seconded by Councillor Mawson. Did you wish to speak to this at all Councillor Simpson? No I think the uh, the reports speak for themselves uh, Madam Mayor. Thank you. Councillor Mawson any comments to? No fine thank you Madam Mayor. And? Thank you. Against? Carried. So that was pretty straightforward. Uh, what we will be doing, um, I will um, move for us to go to in public excluded, but then we'll adjourn and we will actually open our, our extraordinary council meeting. Uh, so if I could have someone to move for us to go to public excluded, please, out of this meeting. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Price, seconded by Councillor Mawson. All those in favour, please say aye. 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 Against, against carried. 
And uh, we will now proceed into our 